Holy moly guacamole, what is going on in the market? Like, we have dropped like crazy. I've been busy doing my day job, and I'm getting pummeled with alerts from everything from going left and right. We're down the mostly oh, nearly 16% at the low as of 10.30 Eastern Standard Time on Friday, the 28th of February, the last trading day in February. And we are touching the lows that we had in October of last year and some of these the summertime lows uh, might be actually heading back even lower so we're gonna pat, uh, pull back to a weekly chart and this is where technical analysis is kind of like all right let's see what line holds let's just see what happens um, this is a huge huge red candle down um, in just a week this is a week and these each little candle here is, is one week, and this goes back three years. So this goes back to nearly the beginning of 18 here. I mean 17, sorry. So 17, you got beginning of 18, we had that crazy fall through in February, basically rebounding fairly fast. But is this like it? I can't tell you. This is much more steep. As you can see, this is like a, it's three or four times more bigger candle. We are really high in the volume the highest we have had we've seen in three years um so just to give you a better moral perspective we're going to pump it out another this is 15 years okay so you see 0809 over here we are nowhere near the volume that we had in february like we're talking we had this is we had double the volume um this could be equivalent to the overall breakdown but this is kind of comes back to the december lows that we had due to the fed raising rates and all that and starting in October of 18 and it just kind of came down so looking at in the uh, let's I'm gonna actually pull this at so SPY so it's uh, the, actually the ones we trade a little bit more uh, and and again the only thing that I have hope for is the the speed of this like you can see here there's only 1030 and I'm getting a lot of uh, slow lag times due to the markets moving so fast I'm just trying to watch the bid and ask feed on a lot of stocks that I'm owning. Um, but wow, this has been a crazy ride. And yes, we're going to do a video about space for sure. Um, so that being said, we are basically at the 21 on the monthly. This is a pretty important uh, point here. We do not want to close below this. Um, and then you start seeing the, the, the 5 and the 8 curling over. If these cross... It, it could be substantially lower. So I'm projecting uh, at like 258 uh, that we could break that level possibly. Um, probably Monday, Tuesday we can be getting substantially lower because it's a Friday. Uh, markets usually don't correct on a Friday statistically speaking. Um, but we can easily drop maybe 20, 30 points possibly. The thing is too is if we rally from here, this could be a hell of a rally too. Uh, this is what happens when crazy volatile markets uh, come into play. It's just absolutely gangbusters. It, it's literally every person for himself, and it and it goes up, it goes down, and it goes up and down fast in 15, sometimes 10 second intervals. So to give you that perspective on the quick intervals, so we're just going to go pop into a daily chart. So. This is a, a 15 minute chart of the past couple days, but we're, so what we're going to do is actually going to take off the extended hour trading. So basically this is ba, 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 Wednesday, Thursday, Monday. So since Monday, we've been dropping like a, a balloon. So I'm actually going to pump it out just a little bit more. We're going to go back to basically this happened on Thursday. In, in retrospect, on Wednesday was the all-time high. So since since of Wednesday, we've dropped at the low, like I said, about nearly 16%. So 16% in a matter of a week is a huge, huge cut in the market. And this is going to be a very important level. Uh, to, it's going to be very difficult to get this back as well. Um I, there is no rhyme or reason like these are huge gaps right here on the daily chart here on SPY These are huge gap fills. Uh, you can kind of see I have a couple alerts out like this doesn't even matter anymore um, I'm kind of seeing if this holds because this is the low of last summer and uh, it looks like August, June May uh, Where we had a really start steep sell-off and a couple gaps lower, but 
I feel like this around the 275 to like the 280 level is we potentially could hopefully again anything can change uh, 10 more countries could get affected by the coronavirus uh, war could break out somewhere I'm not sure but this has been a very uh, crazy day for trading um, we're gonna be uh, looking at the this is a weekly chart mind you this is a weekly chart of the SPY and we've crushed the three deviation channel and that doesn't happen very often so let's pump it out again to the monthly and the monthly we're just coming down to the mean so that could potentially hopefully slow things down on the way it's cutting down I don't think so um, this is just a hell of a cut of a haircut not even a haircut this is a just demolished uh, people people are really panicking people are really freaking out people are not sure what to do um, we're gonna be doing a video here uh, about some stocks that we're looking at I did add to sub couple positions I added a little Microsoft I added some Disney uh, I'm still waiting for Tesla to kind of come lower uh, if this damn thing would load, here we go. So I'm looking at like 515, potentially even 350. So 350 is a pretty, very lower level. Though we're literally talking like, literally $300, $280, $275 lower from here. But this, again, this is anything can happen. The markets are super volatile. Um, just kind of keeping uh, so a lot of dry powder on the side um, and seeing how we uh, come from here, how we're moving. This is a, I can't explain it. Like you can kind of see it here where we kind of have punctured through on the month. This is a monthly chart, mind you. We've dropped in just the month of February, we just dropped out of the sky um, in quite a few points. So like I said, nearly 16 percent and now we're starting to cross below the the medium here and that could be a little bit of a scary scenario you can kind of see it here we've crossed it but we kind of came down to this deviation here um again 0809 we kind of just kind of traded sideways and just continue to tail lower again you don't know anything could happen in the market just keep powder dry i don't think that this uh the overall selling is completely done because this crazy run that we've had since like 17 not really 18 but basically just the last six or seven months the amount of equities have moved up uh, in basically in a straight line like you can see here basically we just filled the a lot of these lower levels here and that we ha start having in October um, and, and it looks like we're heading even lower now um, looking at some potentially heading to last year's low which was, uh, oh, I'm sorry, let me go back to SPY for you guys. Again, this is still a daily chart. Uh, we basically touched, nearly touched the the low of last of October, and then we have a couple other really strong supports here, but I really feel like this uh, 20, 273, it could be a magnet. Uh, again, anything could happen. We could have a hell of a bounce and it just comes back to 307. Um, that would be good for some of my positions for sure. Um, but that being said, this is a crazy market. Um, I just want to know what, what are you guys doing? Do you guys have a lot of dry powder, a lot of cash on hand to be able to jump in and buy equities at a very steep discounted price? Um, just one that comes off the top of my head is Apple. Like this thing has just been cut and ha cut. Uh, it was at 327 basically a month ago, and now it's at 257. Um, it's nearly it's 200 day on the daily chart, which is a great little indicator. Hopefully, it slows down from here. But if we pump this back out to like a weekly chart, this has quite a bit more to fall. Um, this could potentially go down more of course but again, again it's just all about the fear in the market like what is the emotional stress and pressure from all of the other people that are putting money in the market are, are they want to put their money in the mattress are they wanting to uh tr to actively go out and be super aggressive i can't tell you that i don't know it's going to be different each person's different but this has been more of a drop in a single day than i've ever seen trading in the market so this has been 
quite crazy, um, but just hang in there. Uh, things hopefully will get better. Uh, again, what I'm my my strategy is doing is doing is just if it's a super long term position, I'm adding very small amount of shares, and I'm just waiting for things to kind of come off and settle off because this has just been absolutely crazy. Again, guys, this is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.